Hey guys, Rory from ANS Gear. We've got another Bunker Kings pack up on the table. This is the V5 strapless pack. So the We Kill Suckers strapless pack in, uh, I believe, I don't think they call this black, although it's mostly black. Uh, well, they do call it black. So it's got black and gray on it right here. Uh, so this is a strapless pack setup from uh, Bunker King right here. Uh, like the V2, the V5 strapless setup has the extra elastic around the top, uh, but these are a little bit bigger right here. So the main pod tube is slightly longer than we see on the uh, V2 setup over there on the fly. Um, so the V5 right here, we're going to talk about it a little bit. Let's uh, go with the four pack right here. So the four pack, again, the same kind of pod uh, tube setup on there where the inner pod or the inner wall and the outer wall are not together. They are separated a bit with the fabric right there so that that can accommodate pod sizes and grip onto the pod itself. So as the pod slides in, the inner wall of the pack can adjust to the outer wall. Now that gives this the ability to conform to many size pods and uh, shaped like the lock lids or whatever. So if you're looking to put a different shape in there or anything, it's gonna be able to hold on to it, grip it, and keep it from falling out of there. Um, this pack right here has a nice wide surface on the outside here. This is a four plus seven, so it's gonna hold 11 pods total. One, two, three, four, five, six. These fold out, so we've got two on the ends. So that's five and six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11 on the end right there. Now with this little extra bit of elastic on the top, that's gonna help give it just a little bit more security in falling out. Now when the pack is just being held on this, on like this over the table, if I was to fill this up with paint and really kind of bang it around, I might get that to slide out of there. One thing you have to remember though, is when this pack is on your back, this is not the shape that it's gonna sit at. It's gonna shift, uh, be shaped in more of a circle or a half circle, a semicircle, whatever you want to call it, because it's going around your back. Being on your back is going to add a little bit more pressure against those pods and it's going to hold them even more in place. So I know a lot of people look at a strapless pack and they go, oh man, I don't know, strapless pack, pods are going to fall out of that. And they don't. So the designs have been refined so many times now that you don't have pods falling out of your strapless pack. So it's a definite thing to look for right there. All right. So that's what their outsides are going to look like. Let's give it a flip over right here. We've got a little bit of a rubberized pull tab, which is Velcroed underneath, which is nice. I've seen a lot of packs. They have a pull tab on them, but it is not Velcroed underneath. So this part ends up getting like floppy and sticking around, gets caught on your jersey and stuff like that. This doesn't, has the Velcro on it. It's going to stick nice and secure to that strap setup. Oh boy, that's some Velcro. We've got our four strap setup, which we're used to seeing on uh, pod packs. We've got a nice wide setup right here, as far as the patch that's gonna be against your back, with a little bit of an extra padded section that's going to be right in the small of your back to take up that space. Now on this pack right here, it is a little bit smaller than on the V2 fly pack. Uh, that one really sticks out and is really large on here, but I feel like they've kind of incorporated that pad or that pad that sticks way up off the other one more into the pack itself because it, it's big and padded right there. It just isn't as separate from the other one uh, that we see on the Fly V2. So they've kind of incorporated it differently into here. But again, it's gonna be right into the small of your back right there and take up that space so the pack is a little bit more secure against your body. And again, padded all the way around. So this has the padding in it, just not as much as we see in the middle. The uh, where the straps are is available. So I can put my hand all the way through there. Right? They are st uh, stitched in. The straps are stitched right in the middle on the inside. So you can't remove the straps or slide the straps out. They are part of the pack. And they are all uh, an elastic though. So this one right here, you can see I can stretch that really wide. This one can be stretched as well. So we can bring that up and around our body to secure it against our waist. 
Now, the first one you're going to put over is this one here. And there is a bit of some printed graphic that's on here. This is just going to add a little bit of uh, security when you're putting it around. This is going to give you a little bit more of that stick them so that the pad or the pack doesn't want to slide around as much. That one's going to come over first. This one's going to come over second. And that's going to give you your first layer of security on there. And then this one's going to come around again. This one is on elastics and this one's on elastics. And then that's going to secure the pack to your body. When I do these, the first two, I kind of just put around comfortably. I don't really stretch those too much. And then the second two, when they come around, I really give those a stretch. And uh, that's where I um, get my, my tightness right there for my pack. It's up to you so how you want to do it right there. So it's like I said, available in a four and a five. So if you need 11 pods, you can go with the four. If you need 13 pods total, you can go with the five right here. So this is gonna be a five plus eight and a four plus seven. This is the V5 Bunker King strapless pack, two color or two uh, size options on the black, available on the website. Order yours today through ansgear.com.